Hi everybody, um, today we're going to talk about um, how to take the inverse or how to find the inverse of logarithmic and exponential functions. So since logarithms and exponential functions are inverses, they have this really cool property and here's what happens. If you have say a logarithm like this, log base b, and you substitute its inverse, which is the exponential function with base b, what you get as your answer is whatever is left over. So in this case, it's x. And it works for the other way around, too. If you have a function, an exponential function with a base b, and you plug in its inverse, which is a logarithmic function with base b, your answer is the number that's left over, so x. Now, this only works because um, logarithmic and exponential functions are inverses, and the base has to be the same. The base has to be the same. But if you notice the bases are the same, you can use this really cool trick. Now let's try. Um, if you look at example one, here I have an exponential function with base two. I've plugged in a logarithmic function with base two. So since they are inverses, my answer is just five. Um, now look at number two. So remember, when you just see log with no base, it's really a common log, and it's implied that the base is ten. Well, now I can see that I have a logarithm, base 10, and an exponential function, base 10, which are inverses. So my answer is just whatever's left over, in this case, m. Now, since I know that this rule applies um, when my bases are the same, I can sometimes try to take logarithms where the bases aren't the same and make them the same. So when I look at this, I think, well, I think there's a way I can rewrite 25 to have a base of 5 so it matches this number. So I'm going to rewrite 25 as 5 squared to the power of x. Now notice, nothing changed, right? This still has the same value. It's equal to 25. So I didn't change the logarithm. I just rewrote it. And notice my x still needs to be there. Everything is the same. My 25 is just written in a different way. Now since my bases are the same, oops, there's one more step. Well, we know if we raise a power to a power, you just multiply it. So it's just 5 to the 2x. Now, um, since my bases are the same, my answer is just whatever is left over, which in this case is 2x. So if your bases don't look the same, ask yourself, can I rewrite one of the numbers to make the bases the same without changing the value? All right, now let's actually find some inverses. So just like any other time we find the inverse, you switch x and y and then solve for y. The only thing that makes these a little bit tricky is that the only way you're going to be able to solve for y is to rewrite the equation. So let's look at example one. This is an uh, exponential function. I know that my inverse is going to be a logarithmic function, so I can kind of look out for that. But let's start by switching x and y. Now, the only way I can solve for y is to rewrite my equation as a logarithmic function. So I have log base 6 of x equals y. Remember, logarithms always define what your exponent is equal to, which is exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to solve for y. Now, since I've solved for y, I have found my inverse, so I'm just going to rewrite it in proper inverse notation, log base 6 of x. Okay, now let's try going the other way. Okay, here we have a logarithmic function. So I know my inverse is going to be exponential. So let's start by rewriting it. So I switch x and y. x equals natural log of y plus 3. Now be careful, I can't subtract 3 yet because it's trapped inside of my logarithm. So the only way I can solve for y is to rewrite it. Now, when you're rewriting, you have to remember, natural logs have a base of e. So e to the power of x equals y plus 3. Now, I'm not quite done solving for y. I need to subtract 3 from both sides, right? So I get y equals e to the power of x minus 3. And then you would just write it in proper um, inverse notation since you have solved for y. And there you have it. Um, so just remember, you should know what type of function to expect for your inverse because logarithmic and exponential functions are inverses of each other.